In this video, we're going to take you through the Meta Keywords Editor in SEO Ultimate. If you're not sure about Meta Keywords or it's something new to you, then you can essentially think of them as a list of keywords that you'd like your website to be known for. Uh, however, it is worth also knowing that for a long time now, search engines have not really paid a great deal of attention to Meta Keywords. Uh, that's because there was a time where they were very, very, very seriously abused. So now search engines rely on a vast majority of other factors when ranking your website. However, some people still do choose to put time into their meta keywords. So we're going to show you how to do that anyway, if that's something that you'd like to do. So what we can first do in this meta keywords editor is submit a list of site-wide values. These you can think of as the default keywords for your website. Let's just say we were using this plugin on WPKB and we did want to put in the meta keywords. We will put something like WordPress, WordPress help, WordPress tutorials and development, something like that. You know, if you're going to put time into it, you'd probably be a little bit more in depth with those keywords. Uh, and of course, when you've gone making changes there, hit save changes. You can see it's been updated. So what we'll do is we'll jump over to the source code for this website and we'll hit refresh and let's find those keywords. And there you go. So you've got the meta keywords right here and you see WordPress, WordPress help, WordPress tutorials and development there. So that's where they'll appear. They don't actually appear on the front end of your website. Uh, it, it is strictly there in the head of the document. So we'll jump back now and what we can do is hop over into the default values. And this is, I think, pretty useful. Uh, you know, if you do choose to go ahead with meta keywords, which is entirely up to you, then this can be quite useful to you to use these default values here because what you can do is for your posts you can have the plugin look at the three most commonly used words and then it can use those uh, as the keywords uh, and you can also apply that to categories tags uh, and so on and as you can see it can also run this for pages and any custom post types you have and really that can probably do most of the work for you because we probably don't think that spending a lot of time in meta keywords is a good idea because you know it hasn't been all value for a very long time and it's quite possible that it, you know never ever will be ever again so after you've had a look at default values uh, and made any changes you feel necessary you can jump over to the blog homepage area now what you would put here is definitely going to vary depending on uh, your website and how you choose to run it but I know say for instance for WPKB because it's the homepage we'd probably want those really basic keywords there, uh, ones that really sum up the site and what it's got on it. So something like that would be just fine and then we would hit save changes and we could move on. But yeah, as we said, it's probably gonna be a little different for your website. And what we'll look at now just before we wrap up is the posts. And if you've watched the other videos uh, on this plugin, this screen's probably fairly familiar to you. It's basically just a list of all the posts you've got uh, in your WordPress uh, website at the moment and it gives you a field where you can edit the keywords. Uh, previously, we've seen this with the SEO title, uh, but yeah, the screen's exactly the same for the meta keywords editor. So what you could do is uh, go in and put in keywords here and so on. And then when you're done making changes, you can just simply go down and hit save changes. So that's where we're gonna wrap this video up. Uh, as we've mentioned a few times in this video and many others, your meta keywords shouldn't be something you spend a great deal of time on when you're looking to optimize your website. There are much larger gains to be had by doing basically anything else. However, if you do want to make the most of the meta keywords, if you think they do provide some value to you, then you know using a plugin like this and this particular editing interface that it has, it's very useful and you can get a lot done in a short amount of time. If you have any questions about anything we've done today, please feel free to ask in the comments below.